Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations, and today we're gonna make mason jar soap dispensers three different ways. Let's get started. To start this project, you're going to need a mason jar or recycled jar, and you're gonna need to wash it and then wipe it all down with rubbing alcohol to clean it of all the oil, dirt, and debris. For the paint pouring method, you're going to need to take your mason jar or recycle jar and set it upside down onto a paper cup for when the material runs off. For this first one, the paint pouring method, I will be using Folk Art Pre-Mixed Pouring Paint in a variety of three colors. I'm going to alternate pouring each paint into the bottom of a cup, one color at a time. There's no right or wrong to this. You're just kind of guessing and putting in paint as you go. So I'm gonna put in the three colors and then I'm gonna repeat this process over and over again. The goal is to get enough paint in your cup that it will coat your entire mason jar. Now I'm gonna take the paint and I'm gonna slowly pour it over the mason jar, recycled jar, and I'm just gonna make small circles as it pours over the edge of the jar. The goal is for it to cover the entire jar. You can always pick it up with some gloves and tilt the glass to make it run all around and get the whole glass covered. Now if you see any bubbles, you'll want to pop them with a toothpick, lightly. For this next one, you're gonna use some Mod Podge and food coloring. And it's really up to you how many drops you want of food coloring in um, to create the look that you're going for. Once you have the food coloring in, you're going to stir it up till it's evenly mixed. And if you want more color, you can go ahead and add some more color into your mixture and then stir again. Now you have a couple options here. So you can either use a paintbrush and paint on your color, but if you don't want the lines, maybe you don't want the streaks of the lines, then what you're gonna do is go back to the whole paint pouring method, which is the same technique, just going slowly, letting it pour down, and then looking for the places where maybe you need to coat a little bit more till it's evenly coated on all your sides. So just like before, if there are any bubbles, go ahead and pop them. You're gonna let this dry completely. So Mod Podge goes on white, but then dries clear. So it looks cloudy now, but it's gonna turn into this stained glass look as it dries. And for our third recycled soap dispenser jar, we're gonna go ahead and create a farmhouse look with chalk paint. Now I've laid a piece of wax paper down to protect my surface, but there's a lot of options for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I like a damp paintbrush, but it's really up to you um, what kind of paintbrush you wanna use. You can definitely use a dry one. Then all you're gonna do is paint the chalk paint onto the recycled or mason jar whatever you're using for yours. Um, nice and smooth strokes, as you can see some of the strokes will matter. So it's kind of, again, what kind of look you're going for, but you're just gonna go ahead and get one nice smooth coat all the way around each jar. And you can choose other paints too, just chalk, this chalk paint on the back even says that it's good for glass. So that sometimes is the tricky part when you're painting glass, you wanna make sure that it says it's okay for glass. Otherwise, one of the things that might happen is that it will peel right off and you definitely don't wanna go through all this work just to have it slough off or scratch off really easily. So once you get one coat on like this, you're just gonna go ahead and let it dry for whatever the directions say. And in this case, it's one hour. Okay, here's after one coat. So we're gonna go ahead and paint a second coat on each jar. Okay, here's one of the mason jars all painted the way I want it to. And we're gonna work on distressing. And there's no right or wrong way to distress. It's kind of whatever is the best 
um, look that you're going for. I like to use a sanding block, but you can easily use sanding paper as well. And all you're gonna do is just lightly start sanding over the, over the marks on, on the jar. And you go until you get the look you want. One of the reasons I like the sanding block over the sandpaper is it stays nice and flat, which creates that look that you want when you're distressing and kind of keeps it on top versus, you know, getting down in the grooves. So it's really up to you how much you distress something or how little you distress something. So there's a little look there on that and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll give this little line right here. Like I said, you just kind of go on top of it and it just kind of comes off on its own. Same thing with the mason word on the bottom here. Just gonna go over the top of the letters. And that's how easy that is. So you're just gonna go over it. And then if you want, like you can see, I hit this spot a little bit. Some people like to mark up more edges. It's kind of up to you. Now I have a little bit of twine and I'm just gonna add a little accent to the mason jars. I'm just gonna wrap it around a few times and then I'm gonna just go ahead and tie it in the front. It just gives it a little more of that farmhouse feel if that's what you're going for, but you could use ribbon or some other choice if you want, um, but that's kind of just the look I'm going for. Here they are drying and I wiped off where the threads are when the paint stopped running down to help make that a little easier for when we need to thread the soap dispenser on later. And here is the Mod Podge one. Here are the three jars and we're going to go ahead and add the soap dispenser to the top. So you're going to go ahead and take your soap dispenser, put it on top. You might have to cut the little plastic piece that goes inside for the distance of how far it goes down. Some of them are longer than others. And that's how easy it is to make some soap dispensers for your home. So some things you can put in here besides just soap is lotion, hand sanitizer, anything that you could use a pump for. These also make great gift ideas for the holiday season. I hope this inspires you to make some mason jar soap dispensers. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog, and don't forget to click the bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.